to my YouTube channel. I'm still your friend Debbie. Well, it's been a wonderful time with you here, and um, I'm really excited that we all are following you, coming to you know view my videos. It's really means so much to me, and I really appreciate it for everything. Now, um, today uh, it still remain your tutor for today, and um, we have it's a lot of things to talk about. You know, we we'll always have things to talk about. Yeah, so you know been on social media for a very long time I've experienced a whole lot of things I've experienced a whole lot of um, you know questions coming on and on especially about relationship now so there's this particular striking one that has been coming around you know about ladies coming to talk about how their friends to be or their husbands to be turn against them saying they can no longer you know go on with the relationship probably because of their physical appearance yes uh, um, I actually have a video on body shaming which I talked about where men are being body shamed because of their physical features their physical appearance and the rest of it now so you know ladies also come about because it's ladies that face this of body shaming so much now they talk about um, men running away from them and even though they dated for so long they, they eventually abandon them for ladies that are skinny and then the end of you know the end of crying feeling heartbroken and the rest of it so um i don't really know i don't really know but sometimes i, I feel these things shouldn't be you know because a man who loves you will not leave you for anything no this is this is me honestly this is me that's why i try to like you know give myself the level i want i try to like tell myself for me to get committed to someone, for me to say, okay, this person is someone I'm going to give my heart to. First of all, I am going to be sure that this person is a child of God, first of all. I'm going to make sure this person is really committed to, you know, my total and emotional well-being. Because our emotions are very, very essential part of our body. They are very essential part of our lives that if we do not, you know, work work to you know keep it intact it's going to affect every activities of our lives because if your emotion is not fine if your emotion is not in order especially when it is shattered and heartbroken you'll end up you know misbehaving that's just the word now a whole lot of ladies have been heartbroken because of this issue of um body shaming a guy comes to you and then after telling you he loves you he comes to you and then he start asking you, you know, you, you, you look too fat, you need to go to the gym, you need to do some exercises, I don't like the way you feel. And suddenly his attitude changes towards you. And then you notice that at the point, if you people work together, he's not even confident, he's not comfortable working with you just because you've added a little calories. You know, most times these things are not our fault. It's not our fault because we've added some calories. It's simply because of the way our body is reacting. Especially when you're getting to a certain age as a teenager, you discover that your body gets acclimatized to certain changes and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, if as a, teen a teenager you feel you need a boyfriend, which to me, I don't think it's necessary because as a teenager you have a whole lot of things to, you know, cater for you have a lot of things to talk about to look into you have your career you have your schooling getting a boyfriend should not be your priority for now because it's really gonna you know shift your attention to something essential to your life now but I've seen ladies who ladies in their teenagers ladies in their early 20s they've decided to you know get themselves hooked up with a boyfriend and at the end of the day what did they get for it they end up being heartbroken, they end up being shattered. Now, so, now this video, we're gonna be talking about this issue. We're gonna be talking about relationship in entirety, how we're gonna, you know, control ourselves, how we're gonna handle heartbreaks, how we're gonna, you know, move on with our lives, especially when things like this come. So, stay tuned as we continue. Welcome once again. We are still talking about relationship. We're talking about how to move on with heartbreak. But before we continue, I want you to please 
um turn on the subscription button click the subscription button and turn off the notification bell so that you're gonna receive more of my posts more of my videos as they come because i tell you you really have a long we really have a long a lot of things to you know learn together and you will not learn these things if you do not visit my channel consistently in order to get every bit of the ice bag now well talking about relationship now if you're in a relationship whereby you discover that your partner wants you to you know change a whole lot of things about you before he can accept you before he can love you better I think that's a toxic, toxic relationship and you can do well by leaving such a relationship now I also need to establish the fact that as a teenager you don't need to expose yourself and your heart your emotions to emotional torture and blackmail because you are too young for that if at a young age you, you, you think of having a boyfriend by the time you get old you're gonna get so probably you will get entangled with so many men in your life that you don't even know the one to choose from and even before you start thinking of the one to choose from probably they, they all might end up you know getting your heart broken and when it comes for you to life for you to choose a life partner you discover that you find it so difficult you discover that you 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 you, not, you, you, you tend to feel that all men are the same because they have cheated on you they have you know body shamed you they have you know made you gone down emotionally so this is why I'm gonna advise you in this video that you should please stay away from any form of relationship relationship when you're not ready to get married I told myself if I'm not ready to get married I cannot get myself entangled into any relationship because I know it's not gonna give me anything now there's something we call sexual purity I'm not preaching get that I'm not preaching but then we need to hear this sexual purity and tells yourself keeping yourself for that man who is ready to you know deflower you he's ready to take you down to the eye he's ready to you know meet your parents and propose their intentions towards you if a man hasn't gone to your parents to tell you tell them that he, that he loves you and wants to marry you especially when you're of age when you're ready to get married and then if your parents hasn't accepted a man you don't have any right to sleep with that man you don't have any right to you know enter into a relationship with him you can be friends but for you to take that relationship to the next level you must run accept the consent of your parents if your parents haven't accepted i tell you you both are playing a child's play and he can do anything with you so please for the sake of your emotions for the sake of your future try to you know ascertain the level of relationship you're going to know the man you're going to a relationship with before you move forward with him so now if a man wants to get married to you and then he's always complaining about your body he's always telling you you're this you're that why not do this look at this sister look at this lady she's she's um like this she's i want you to look like her you know sometimes and he comes to tell you sometimes when i look at this lady i wish you could just be like her you know she's beautiful i know you're beautiful he will tell you i know you're beautiful but i want you to look like this lady and then every time he's repeating and repeating and repeating that and you at the point you even get tired of it but because you love him you wouldn't want to do anything about it because you're loving him you feel it's a normal thing and then you want to go to the gym you get yourself some you know sneakers you get, get yourself exercise kites and then the rest of it you want to go slim down yourself you want to go slim down especially when you don't even have enough calories on your body maybe probably you're a little bit chubby and then because you want you to look slim like a model who has modeling helped now because he wants you to look like one model he saw on the street and he keeps on comparing you comparing you to that person and then all in the name of love you said that you're gonna you know change yourself i tell you you're making a big mistake any man who is bold enough to compare you to some other lady out there will definitely ruin your emotions okay what if you keep on you know going for exercise and there's no changes in your body doesn't mean he's gonna accept you like that doesn't mean he's gonna remain with you those, those kind of men, they go out there to cheat. They admire other ladies out there. Why claiming to love you? 
so if you see anyone that keeps comparing you to some other lady out there I tell you you need to run for your life because if they cannot accept you the way you are then I tell you you're gonna have you're not gonna have a beautiful marriage if they eventually decide to get married to you so make hay while the sun shines even if you or um, going into a, a serious engagement engagement with him even if he pays your diary even if okay let's just leave the diary for now because that's just too far because once a man pays your diary you're already his wife now you're still in the process of courtship and then you discover some characters ill loves ill characters about him that you know that if i should go on with this man it's not gonna work out well for us my end of praying in every time because you're not getting acclimatized to it now if you see such attitude as a lady as a man I beg of you to cut down that relationship because it's better for you to quit a relationship than for you to quit marriage the Bible has not encouraged us to divorce but if you do not walk towards your relationship towards your marriage why you are not yet married it's gonna be a painful marriage to you if you decide to get married now as a guy we're not talking about just ladies alone here it applies to both the male and female gender now as a guy you meet a lady and you discover that she's so all she's interested in is, is changing her wardrobe getting more you know wristwatches getting more accessories buying more of the brazilian hair human hair and the rest of it she doesn't even have things to contribute to your career she doesn't even ask you how it's work how you coping how you doing the next time she calls you on the phone is hello honey um i need some money i you know i need to change my wardrobe i get some things to you know settle you know i need to pay some deals without even asking you how are you doing which is very important because if you're not doing fine there's no way you're going to get money to give you her if you get married to such a lady i tell you she's gonna squander your money and run away in times of difficulties she's not gonna be with you so before you go down I don't want this video to get longer than this before you engage yourself into a relationship ensure your man accepts you the way you are now accepting you though as a lady sometimes getting too much calories in our body is our fault so you need to work on the kind of food intake you take for example when I discovered that I was adding some calories I don't used to be as clumpy as this but when I discovered that I was already adding some calories I try to you know work on the kind of food intake I take sometimes I have to skip meals I take more of fruits and vegetables um, recently I've been taking a whole lot of fruit because I don't want to be consuming more food more calories into my body so I take fruit I drink more water and then I can eat like twice a day or sometimes I eat once in a day supplementing it with fruits so I would advise you take um, some of those precautions instead of consuming a whole lot of things now you're doing this not because you want to please someone out there you're doing this because you love yourself you want to please yourself you want to remain fit for yourself so but if after all this you do and then he keeps on comparing you to someone else you need to run away it's gonna be painful leaving him especially when you love him so much and he doesn't love you back it's gonna leave it's gonna be painful to you but I tell you at the end of the day you're gonna be so excited about it because you will not go into the relationship if you go into a relationship with such a man you end up you know getting betrayed and at the end of the day you won't find happiness and I asked what is happiness what is marriage without happiness so please this is gonna be like an interactive session I want you to share in the comment section of um, your experiences so far and how you feel um, you're gonna tackle this issue how you feel you're gonna help one another to you know solve our problems of body shaming and the rest of it so if you enjoy this video I want you to run call your friends invite your friends to you know subscribe to the channel so that we're gonna grow together to you know move the channel to the next level and please keep on visiting the um, this channel in order to get more of my videos I promise to make it more exciting with a whole lot of features and interesting topics to talk about so stay tuned and please do not forget to subscribe thank you